Armory Disc Golfers, today we have a disc review for you. This is the Mint Disc Lobster. This is the newest disc in their lineup. It is a finesse mid-range, and this is a great disc for touchy wood shots or long turnover um, drives or even don't let the flight numbers fool you. It says 5-5, negative 3-1, but throwing at lower power, this can really hold up uh, hold hyzers and just push straight forever or even hold that hyzer and have a nice long swooping fade to it. If you throw it at higher power as you're going to see I have some field footage for you it will turn but instead of having this sharp turn that's kind of hard to control it's this very smooth slow turn throughout its flight. Mint has great plastic if you've ever thrown their stuff you know this and this is no exception. The Lobster's first drop came in Apex plastic it's nice and firm, it's grippy in the hand, it just feels great to throw. The profile of the disc is nice and round, it's comfortable in your hand. It's a pretty thin mid-range, it's a five speed, but there's something about the way the shoulder of the disc feels. It feels almost like a, like a three or a four speed, but it's comfortable to throw in the hand. It feels very controllable, it has a, a flat bottom to it, and a nice round edge. So I really like the way that this disc flew. This is one of those that I grabbed it, I did some field testing with it, and then immediately I threw it into my bag. I'm very excited to keep this, to continue learning the disc, and to continue looking at the thing because they're so pretty. All right, let's get into the field coverage and show you how it flies. All right, Grant and I are both out throwing the disc today. We're gonna start with backhand hyzers. And you can see this was thrown probably 75% it just holds that hyzer has a little bit of stand up to it but still has enough integrity to, to push and fade grant threw it on a little bit steeper of a hyzer as you can see and it did again it stands up but it just pushes forward and has that little bit of reliable fade at the end now this one we're moving into to flat shots and you can see the disc turns but it's not turning and burning it's turning and holding a long way and then still comes back at the end. I mean, that's a crush for me on a mid-range. That's as far as I expect my fairways or sometimes even my stinking drivers to go. So I'm very impressed by the glide of this disc and its ability to hold up and still come back at the end. Thrown flat, that one, it, it held that turn almost all the way to the ground. And now speaking of holding turns into the ground, showing I'm throwing on Anheuser here. If you do crank over on it, <laughs> it is an understable mid-range. It's not gonna fight out of it, but that's not the only only Anheuser throw I got with it. On a more normal, you know, Anheuser shot, you can see it will hold that Anheuser all the way. It can finish nice and flat. So this is great for shaping shots in the woods. If you need these long holding Anheusers. Grant does another good job of showing us that there. And now I have some shots just out on the course so y'all can see what it looks like being thrown on actual disc golf holes. Just a couple of them for you. <laughs> we got some cowboys in the background. You can watch as well. The basket's just right there to the right of that bush. But you can see thrown lower power, power hyzers. It'll hold them. It'll, it'll turn over in the woods for you. Here's a nice long turnover. So didn't want this review to be super long. Just wanted y'all to be able to see the disc flying and to get an idea if it's something that you would like in the bag. We'd highly recommend it. And we have them on sale now at armorydiscgolf.com. So go check them out. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more of these, remember to like, comment, subscribe. We will see y'all in the next one.